Ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. So the problem of it is, is the police keep tampering with evidence. She hung up. Um, I need to speak with a supervisor. Okay, I can do that for you. Okay, thank you. Um, can I ask what this is for? Yes, because 911 has been psychologically abusive and covered for crimes years, and it's about time people wreck, wreck up the felonies for the extreme events they have put me through. Felony ignored crimes. So if 911 wants to be a conspirator, conspirator in psychological abuse and tamper with evidence and cover for crimes, they need to rack up their felonies too. So I'd like to speak with the supervisor. Okay, I can get you transferred. Okay, thank you. Any communication, Coleman, how can I help you? Yes, I don't understand why so many parties conspire with me not having access to my child and psychologically abusive when I try to get access and report crimes, even 911. And why 911 supervisors refuse to pull the calls when their operators are committing crimes, interrupting an emergency call is criminal. And some kind of way, all the supervisors I speak with cover for a multitude of crimes. For years, I, the 911 operators even violated my right and would not even dispatch out officers in emergencies. And I had to go under the radar, terrified, and I could not even get uh, officers dispatched out when I was pickpocketed, robbed, and a multitude of other crimes. They would not hang up in my face and even deprive me of dispatch like they did when I saw a poisonous snake in front of a tent. And the police officer you know, supervisors, I mean, the supervisors keep enforcing the poisonous snake in front of the tent and cover for it when they can just pull the call. But each supervisor does not want me to communicate when they hung up in my face three times. It would not dispatch out officers. Period. I had to flag one down that also covered for it. Ma'am, ma'am, do you need police right now? So you're going to cover for it up for it again too? Are you sure this hacking the phone network is a crime? I'm and then pretending like you're 911 to cover for crimes is even more sadistic and sick. And to get I'm away with it. For an address. I'm reporting crimes that the operators made and you committed and your supervisor, supposedly. You there? My phone's my function. Okay. Are you there? Why would supervisors commit a crime and cover for operators? Interrupting a 911 call, an emergency call, is criminal. Why do you guys keep covering up for the snake, the poisonous snake in front of my tent, and not want to pull the call and interrupt me when I talk about it? Was that on purpose? Well, each time I was talking about the poisonous snake, a multitude of people interrupted me and 911 kept hanging up in my face three times in a row and would not dispatch out any help for the poisonous snake that was in front of my tent and then went right up under it. Okay. I had no rights. I couldn't get off the streets everywhere I called, like just now, covered and enforced crimes everywhere I went, just like what's up happening right now blatant lies that no consequences year after year for a major amount of chaos. I have never seen any sadistic psycho behavior in a movie or anything to prepare me for what I'm experiencing today with no consequences year after year. 911 covering and enforcing criminal activity. So are you refusing to check those operators and hold them accountable for the crimes that they were committing? Are you going to refuse that as a supervisor as they've done years? Is that what you're stating? Are you going to answer my question? So you have to be sadistic like you, what you guys have done years? Isn't that how much abuse do I have to endure? So what's your question? Do you need to police fire ambulance? So my question was the reason why I asked to speak with the supervisor, if you could hold the operators that account are accountable that were committing crimes. And your answer is no. It's not my job to hold anybody accountable for crimes. This is legal justice system. If charges is filed against somebody. How are they going to be found if you're covering for it in a supervisor? How are they going to be found if you won't pull the call and cover for them? I've already spoke with a multitude of supervisors, and then when they got caught in the repetitive behavior okay, of depriving you, me of you, dispatch, you, you never gave us the address. What, what call that she said it in the other call, the trying address. to and they make put my safety at jeopardy. She did say it in the other call, trying to multiple times. So I can give you address, address again. Ma'am, 
The address where the snake was was found in the Living Word Church. And then he in the okay, well. So I mean, I'm telling you about. I'm telling you what. You're interrupting the snake incident again. All operators cover for the snake, the poisonous snake. So at Fountain of the Living Word Church, I tried to call the um, 911 dispatch for the poisonous snake. I, why do everyone cover for the poisonous snake if it's not on purpose? Police does not go out on poisonous snakes. Okay, well they couldn't tell me if I saw a poisonous snake. What did that? What am I supposed to do if there's a poisonous snake? They couldn't okay, tell me. Police, they had to hang up in my face. Crime. Police fight crime. They don't fight snakes. Okay, so if it's a poisonous snake and I need emergency help, who do I contact? You would contact three one one. That's not a police matter. So is that why they hung up in my face and wouldn't say nothing? And why do I they keep no interrupting idea, me every? Ma'am, ma listen. The police fight crime. The fire department you with medical. But it would make sense if 911 would dispatch animal control if there was a dangerous animal and depriving me of the right. Animal, animal control is dispatched through 311. No, I don't believe you. I think you're blatantly lying. I think the other citizens that have rights is clear that I don't. You. You but don't here you, you it, okay, right hold on. But here's the problem. They hung up in my them. face three police times. Do you're cub, why do you guys enforce face. that poisonous snake? It is obviously on purpose. So what I was trying to say is that pastor that night talked about poor pit vipers in his sermon and looked dead okay, at me and said, gonna, let this be a warning because you're committing you crimes. And I want you to get the wreck up of felonies charges you guys have committed. You have no right to hack my phone, violate me, get away with this chaos year after year, psychologically abuse me each call, torment me, degrade me, mistreat me over and over again, year after year with no consequences. If you want to act like a jaded, sadistic ex, you need a charge for the sad jaded, sadistic ex. You need to rack up the felonies you guys repetitively commit with no consequences. Obviously, okay. you're not going to help. You haven't for all this time. You need your felonies. Okay. 